Hey guys, Scan here with GLHF.TV, and this is going to be a little bit different than my normal videos, because normally I like to script this kind of stuff out whenever I'm talking about a character, but Alex is out today, so we're going to be talking about him raw and right away. Now, I have about half an hour with this character under my belt right now, so far, and so far, I think Alex is really solid. I think he's a really fun, solid character. There's some notable differences between this version of Alex and his Third Strike incarnation, especially with the startup and uh, the angle of some of his moves, but if you played as Alex at all in Third Strike, you're going to overall feel familiar with the character. There's not a ton that's different about the character. He's got pretty much all of his special moves from third strike with one notable exception and that being the fact that he has this jumping headbutt move now which is actually a charge move and that kind of takes the place of his swinging DDT so overall let's let's talk about Alex in terms of his normals for starters Alex is a really big, lumbering character. I mean, he's he's all crouched down and hunched over and such, and he's still standing notably taller than Ryu. I mean, when he stands up straight, he's huge. He is a really, really big character, so... It makes sense. He's a very imposing grappler, and... I think one of the biggest things about him that people are going to learn over time is he has a really substantial anti-projectile game with a lot of his moves. And we're going to be able to see whether or not I'm able to... Well, we're going to be able to see whether or not I can actually utilize that if I'm facing someone with projectiles, but when it comes to his, to his headbutt, his EX elbow has one hit of armor, his uh, clothesline can basically act as a parry, a lot of stuff going for him in an anti-projectile game, so... Well, I should probably be expecting a lot of this today, shouldn't I? <laughs> Everyone's gonna be playing as Alex today. So here come the buttons, get ready for that noise. Round one. This guy's already got colors. Fight! Okay, so that knocks down. That's interesting. It's hard to tell if he's doing that or if he's doing his stomp. At least from the timing of it from when I'm used to the third strike, but his stomp is super fast. Check this out. There we go. That's better. He's mobile. He, he's a really mobile grappler, and I like that. He's not going to be hitting the same damage as Geef with his grapples, but he's good. Oh, wow. That 
just affects the distance. Oh, he's fun. He's fun, he's fun. He's really, really fun. And like you win. Oh, I hate his win animation though, it's so bad. Uh, I wasn't really talking much there during the fight, because again, new character really gotta concentrate a bit. But you know, Alex is a mobile good grappler. And I I think Round one. he's got a lot of good parts to Fight. his game, but he's got a lot of startup on his normals. His cross-up is his jumping light kick, which doesn't sound that useful, but then you can do something like this. That's got range. That command throw has got some range to it. Looks like I won. All right. Round two. Fight. Oh. Kind of a shining wizard is his back throw. I still gotta get used to what buttons to use. I'm jumping a little bit too much too. to do that. I think that auto-corrected in his favor. Oh my god! The damage! So raw, I love it. This is not a complicated character. You are not gonna have to learn tons of intricate combos. This is a mobile grappler with some really, really interesting aspects to him that I am going to love playing as. I need to learn to use that a bit more. Come on.
Make sure I get it. Make sure I get it with the EX. Final round. Fight. That's so useful. You win. So, let me talk for a second about his V trigger and everything that has to go with that. His uh, his clothesline serves kind of two pur well, three purposes actually. Holding down of heavy punch and heavy kick actually allows Alex to parry a single move when you're in his. V trigger when you're in that mode. So you're looking at a move that's very important both on offense and on defense. It's a it's a big part of a lot of his most damaging combos. It can be very important to be able to V trigger cancel in the middle of some combos. A V trigger cancels out of moves that he's otherwise not normally able to cancel out of, like for example his standing or crouching medium kicks. Either of these, I can V trigger cancel and confirm big damage out of. But what's more important than that? is that whenever Alex parries a move by holding down this, yeah, see, 300 damage for pretty much free. That's the, well, not free, it's one meter, but still really good. Whenever you hold down the move to charge up his clothesline, that clothesline can break armor when it's fully charged and it absorbs one hit. There's a video going on there's a video going on. There's a video out there on YouTube already of someone basically replicating Evo Moment number 37, but using Alex's Street Fighter V parry, if you will. And he even does a parry motion. He, he throws his arm forward, kind of like Ryu does with his parry. So the game is accepting it as a legitimate parry. And what's the most important part, and I'm still kind of circling around this without actually getting to it, every single time you parry a move while you're in V-Trigger, you gain a bit of V-Meter even though you're already in V-Trigger. And not like, not you gain a little bit of V-Meter to be able to do a move, to be able to restart Rage Mode, which I believe is the name of his V-Trigger mode. You gain meter as it's depleting in V-Trigger. It also costs you V-Meter to do each clothesline, of course. But that means, theoretically, if you have a really strong defense and are really good at parrying, once he's in V-Trigger mode, you gain an enormous offensive potential. I mean, it, it's kind of crazy. He's good. So let's say I do... That's not bad. I wonder what would happen if I do that. Well, it's already scaled to 50%, so... Like, that's a quarter of your opponent's health in two moves. I think this is going to be his, his... That is going to be such a vital part of its footsies game.
God, he's fun to play as, though. It's crazy how much fun I'm having with this character so far. I mean, again, everyone in the world has about... Well, not everyone in the world, except for all you PC guys who have been unlocking this thing since the moment he and all the costumes dropped. But I'm just having an absolute blast with this character. I give it a 75% chance that I'm facing another Alex. If I actually connect with somebody. Please? <laughs> Come on! Servers have been a little wonky, I feel like. I'm, it, the matches are a little few and far between. Yeah. That Sebastian guy. Oh, right, they're going to be releasing a new stage soon. My guess is it's going to be Nash's stage, if you look at his character art. Round one. See? That's what I'm talking about. Mameji, how you doing? That's what I'm talking about. You can cancel his clothesline out of a ton of moves that otherwise you can't cancel out of. It gives him enormous offensive potential. Oh boy. send you flying? That's so lame. Oh, no, it's because he warmed up. I see. mean to do that, but that's actually a good escape move. By the way, I'm talking to Twitch chat. If you hear me saying random names in the recording, I'll be posting later. <laughs> Alex is dope. I'm... I may have found a new main. Like, it's it's at that point. I'm gonna have so much fun playing as this character. It's ridiculous. Come on, ready up. Yes. Round one. Fight. Yeah! Wow, his death rattle sounds awful. Ah! Okay, that 
that's really starting to piss me off. mean to super there either. Stop doing that. That was weird. So on a trade, you still get the stun from the clothesline. So you don't really ever want to trade with clothesline. The more you know. Round one. Let's try this again. Fight. close. Probably should have done the stomp. That move seems way too slow. Real sick of that standing jab.
Yeah, so be expecting to be seeing a lot of Alex's online right now. I'm having a little bit of trouble figuring out exactly how his buttons work. He he feels pretty poke heavy. Now that you're gonna really get much off of that those pokes, you're not gonna be able to confirm much off of them because he doesn't have very good buttons for hit confirms. Looks like a character you gotta be a little bit more patient with. Gotta kinda space out at the right ranges. Clo His forward dash is good, so you can close range with him pretty well. Like, it's not his third strike dash, but that's still pretty good. I mean, from full screen, you're looking at one, two... That, that's like Nikali's dash. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, so if I was going for the most complicated combo I can think of for him... I think I would go. He has so much recovery after hitting the clothesline, it's hard to do anything after it. Like, I'm trying to do a heavy punch after it, but it just takes so long. I don't think I can unless it's fully charged. And his EX lockdown, so you can't do EX slash into his EX German suplex either. That's just not an option. Is it going to do versus Alex? No, it's versus somebody else. Thank God. Although this is probably not going to be good. <laughs> I hate fighting against Mika. Mika's definitely my worst matchup for anyone who ever finds shenanigans online. I suck. It's not that I suck versus Mika. It, it's she frustrates me. She makes me flustered more than any other character in the game. So, But we do have a wrestling match. Wow, if that move misses, you're going to eat a huge ton of time. And I'm stunned. Use of that guard break. Yeah, 
straight arrow. Final round. Fight. Ah, well, gave it a shot. You lose. <laughs> That's right, I get to see all the new cool win quotes. Get on the bus, you bum. Round two. You go through the wall. Yes, that's dope.
Oh, do I get the noodles? <laughs> you win. Oh, that's gonna be a salty Mika player. You don't have what it takes to be a face, the power nor the tick. Oh, wrestle and talk. Round one. Fight. Pretty destroyed that round. Round two. Fight. God, I hate fighting Mika. She's annoying. Whatever. That's just me being salty. So, yeah. Alex is an absolute blast. Let me wrap this up. Unfortunately, I don't have a ton of time right now. Alex is not a big combo character. He, in respects with Laura, he's very similar to that. In fact, even less so than Laura. He doesn't feel like a big combo character outside of his V-Trigger combos, which feel like actual pretty big combos. His V-Skill isn't as useful, at least right now. It doesn't feel as useful as I would like it to be, and I don't have enough experience against projectile characters to say whether or not I think he would definitely be good against them. But I think he would be good against them. I really do. I think that... Alex is a character that has so many tools to get in against characters like Dalsim or Ryu or Nash that, you know, if Nash throws a fireball, I can just jump it. Like, if I'm... You just gotta get used to the ranges of them, and then you'll be fine. Alright, I'm gonna do one more. Yep, we got another color that I haven't seen yet. Reading the Reddit chat now. Round one. Fight. I'm all warmed up. I got head. Oh, 
All right. Oh boy. Making a bunch of bad reads. You lose. Round one. Fight. I also have to get used to the fact that after his heavy punch slash like that, the half circle back is almost like a Rekka. You have to do it really fast. That's the second time he's done that to me. Final round. I didn't realize I was out of meter. I tried to parry that. You lose. Yeah, well. 
Sleeping Lion, now available. Cool. Alright guys, I know everyone's trying out Alex and having a lot of fun with him, but do with what do with him what you will. My final two cents on him is that I think he is going to be potentially a very good character. I think he's got some jab confirms that I need to work on. I think you might be able to do jab jab strong as a confirm, which alone would make him an extremely strong character in this game. So keep experimenting with him, guys. He's only been out for about 90 minutes. There's a lot to figure out with him, but I'll be on a bit later with some more streaming. So, have fun, guys. Street Fighter V's really just starting here. This has been Scanned with GLHF TV.